name is Jill Gross. I'm a professor at Hunter College, City University of New York. Uh, I study cities and what makes democracy work. Uh, and I'm here in uh, Europe, in Dublin and in London, uh, studying migration and how European cities are adapting and integrating and attempting to bring new migrants into political life. Fulbright Schulman is great because it allows you to really look at issues across geographies. Uh, so rather than being where most traditional Fulbrights are country specific, the EU Fulbright allows you to move between localities and really look at issues as they transcend borders. I'm interested in uh, the differences that European Union migrants uh, experience versus migrants coming from other countries, so this allows me to go from London to Dublin, uh, I may be going over to Amsterdam as well. Uh, each city has different experiences, but the European Union is the unifying factor that allows us uh, to sort of look and layer and understand what's going on. Honestly, it's been great. Um, it's a real great opportunity. I mean, all the key institutions within the European Union, uh, European Parliament, European Council, uh, European Commission, uh, NATO, uh, SHAPE, I mean, so we've really gotten a chance to see uh, policy and policy actors in different capacities, those who are really focused on national level, those who are focused on, uh, on Europe as a whole, and those who are sort of concerned with issues of security, uh, and it's nice to hear things from people who have very different perspectives uh, on the big picture of Europe as a whole. And not for nothing, Brussels has got unbelievable food and restaurants and um, great history. I mean, it's been really a lot of fun to walk around and meet the other Fulbrighters. Another great feature of that, uh, of this orientation, is that it brings uh, country-specific Fulbrighters in as well. So there are us, the European Union ones, but then there are also Fulbrighters that I can talk with who are doing research on migrants in Rome uh, or on uh, international relations in, you know, Bratislava, for argument's sake. The process, I, th I actually think that the information available on the website was actually really, really helpful. Uh, it was also helpful talking with representatives at different conferences to get a sense of the different programs uh, and then talking to other Fulbrighters. I actually found the application process pretty easy. It just had a lot of pieces, um, you know, getting health checks, uh, getting visas, uh, sorting out accommodation. When you're doing an EU Fulbright, it's a little more complicated. Uh, but there was a lot of help, and there was also a lot of help within each of the partners. Um, I'm partnering at, with University College Dublin uh, and with the University of Westminster in London, so I had multiple levels, but I thought the application process was uh, scary because I wanted it, uh, but it was really exciting when I got it. I'll be teaching, I'll be going to conferences, I'll be writing papers, I'll be writing a book, but it's been really interesting because there are actually things and experiences that I've had in the Dublin portion of things that I really didn't anticipate. Uh, there are very different patterns of uh, racial, uh, residential segregation based on ethnicity and race. Um, it's very different than the American experience. The ideas of racism or what they're referring to as ethnic nepotism are, are very different. Uh, I grew up in a, in a world where race is something that you attach to color. Uh, I'm studying cities in which race and racism are being attached to white ethnic groups. Uh, that's something that as an American we simply are, it's, it's not in our basket. You can discriminate against white groups, but racism is really not an idea that we associate with white populations. In Ireland it's the Irish travelers, they're probably the most marginalized community within the country. It's something I never would have thought of. And also, in a place like Ireland, where migration is so new, I mean, they've only been an immigrant country for the last 10 years, uh, so they're, they're like a fresh slate to try something radically new, to really think about different ideas, um, and, the, and immigrants are settling all together, multi-ethnic multi immigrant communities, rather than being uh, ethnic ghettos or ethnic enclaves. And so, it's, it's been really interesting and a really different experience, which I'll bring back to the classroom, uh, which will definitely influence what I write. It's a great hidden secret. I mean, the European Union Fulbright, um, 
allows you to really look at things in ways that I don't know of any other scholarship that does. Uh, allows you freedom to travel, not not so much from a, a, a tourist perspective, although you, that can be part of it, um, but it really allows you the opportunity to experience and see different cities and also Fulbright teams in each country uh, are really deeply rooted into, at least from my perspective, the political systems. So I've had access to people that I don't think I would have normally had access to had it not been for some of the networks that come through the Fulbright program. So it's a good thing.